Good morning, Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Today is Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Happy birthday today to Mistress La. Please stop by the office to get your birthday pencil. Our outside activities forecast is abundant sunshine. High 53 degrees Fahrenheit, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Your lunch choices today are chicken bog or fajita chicken or PB&J. Three good choices. What will you choose? All right, what's happening? Some news from Chorus. We are starting Chorus this week. For Chorus, that's all grade singing Seahawks on Thursday from 7 to 7.35. Honors Choir will stay after school on Wednesdays from 3 to 4. Okay, so that's regular Chorus. Thursdays from 7 to 7.35 this week, and Honors Choir starts to stay on Wednesdays from 3 to 4. All right, let's talk about drama. Yesterday I held a meeting for Ensemble. A lot of people did not show up. If you are on the list of Ensemble, I need you to stop by sometime and see me today so I can make sure you've turned in your permission slip, give you the new schedule, and make sure you are interested in still being part of the Ensemble. We are doing the books for bikes again this year. If you look in Miss Rhodes' office, there's like a ton of bikes. All right, four bikes a month, and you could win one if you simply read a book, write a book report, and submit that. Our January winners will be chosen on January 31st. Okay, next, if you're interested in joining the Horry County Schools Tech Fair, you need to stop by the library to get yourself a proposal form. This is a form that's gonna you'll fill out. It'll say what you intend to do for the, your project. Only students who submit that proposal form will be considered for the tech fair. Your forms are due by January 19th. All right, this day in history on January 4th. In 1999, former wrestler Jesse Ventura was sworn in as Minnesota's governor. Battle of the Books. Ooh, this is, this is sounding fun, Miss Rhodes. Battle of the Books is a quiz bowl reading competition. I love competitions. For fourth and fifth graders only. You must read a minimum of four books to participate in this quiz bowl team. And if you're interested in joining our MBE Battle of the Books team, please bring in a signed permission slip by Friday, January 5th. That's tomorrow. All right, escape from Mr. Lemoncello's library. Ooh. So, Carboni's class said about our game-changing question yesterday. He was scared because he had rushed his essay, and he looked up to Mr. Lemoncello and his games. Godfrey, James, Reed, Merritt, and Tracy Clark also said Kyle felt foolish extremely nervous and worried, anxious, and surprised. Maruzzi's class think that Dr. Z is a good and bad person for the job of overseeing the new library. She's good because she's smart, but bad because she doesn't talk to people nicely. All right, check the hallway character charts to see if you are cluing in on our character traits and personalities. Our game-changing question of the day is, are you ready for it? And my best Taylor Swift. Kyle is often compared to his older brothers. Do you think these comparisons affect him? Why or why not? I'm going to read it one more time. Kyle is often compared to his other older brothers. Do you think these comparisons affect him? Why or why not? For the morning news, I'm Miss Lee. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous Thursday, Seahawks.